All right, everyone, here we go with the Friday reading. One of my favorites. It's going to be this this week. Last week's reading was pretty cool. You know, we had a lot going on this week. This week's Friday reading and Saturday reading, where, you know, we pull on the week on Saturday, is going to be pretty epic, too. We've got a lot going on between right now and the 1111 portal. We've got Eclipse. We're between eclipses, and we, we've got Jupiter moving back into Pisces, which I pulled on the other day. And we've got Mercury moving into Scorpio. Mars going retrograde, which is adding kind of a calming effect to things a little bit. Or some rational thought, if you will. This is one card for each sign. It's a Friday reading, always. And I've got a pre-shuffle. I don't always do a pre-shuffle for the Friday reading, but I've got one. Just, just to take a look at the surface energy, because there's a lot going on. Uh, if you're new here, there's a paragraph at the top of the description to tell you why there's no timestamps here. Pay attention to everything. It's just an exploded all signs reading on the table. That's all. This ain't a horoscope. Uh, this is energy reading. That said, do what you want. Um, this is general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. And in the Friday reading, I don't clarify. One card for each sign, yeah. But... Uh, I asked the universe, what's your person thinking and feeling? And tomorrow in the Saturday reading for the weekly reading, I ask what actions they're likely to take, which way the wind is likely to blow, and we do clarify. But today, let's just take a look. Here's the surface energy. You definitely represent Nine of Pentacles, freedom for this person. Four of Wands crossing the Nine of Pentacles. You represent freedom from, from a lot of them, what they've seen as stability, you know. Uh, which I believe, which we'll find later. I believe they got wrong. Um, you're, uh, it's somebody here who desperately wants a new beginning in their life for sure. Okay, with the Ace of Wands here, Knight of Cups. They want love. They don't. With the, the Knight of Cups implies they don't have it. He's moving in a new direction, right? Underneath that, but there's a problem, and there always is. You know, what are they thinking and feeling about you? You represent freedom to them. You represent a new beginning. You represent love, but there's some something something they're fighting something they're struggling with with the seven of wands here and it's toxin and it's it's uh, demons inside inner demons you call it whatever you want this is the energy where we're fighting those in this current energy right now we are fighting those inner demons you them them more than you i imagine um and it's all resulting in eight swords that eight swords is bookending this nine of pentacles this freedom, right? Um, in another layer of energy, you represent sort of a real, someone they could really be with, someone they could really marry. It, it would be real. It would have everything. It would have love. It would have passion. It would be everything they're looking for. But the what's holding them back is the devil here. And it's causing a great deal of thought about it, which too much thought, I think, the Eight of Swords tells us. It generates fears when you think too much. The brain's job is to protect you. Right? It does. The soul talks about nonsense things to the brain. Love. We're going to be vulnerable. We're going to put ourselves out there. Are you fucking crazy? That's what the brain says. Right? And, you know, I'm just sort of steving it up a little bit. That's kind of what happens. Let's give the deck a shuffle here and let's see what your person's thinking and feeling about you under the current energies. Let's see where we go. Give me a reading, universe. Friday reading. It knows what I mean by that. It's one card for each sign. Exploded all signs. Reading. Let's see where we go. You ready? I'm ready. I'm done. That's it. That's all I got. I got five swords as the overall energy of all 12 cards that are going to fall on the table. Five swords. It's... <sighs> this person has caused their own problems. They're short-sighted, right? They did what they were supposed to do, maybe. We've talked about that. It's, it's all about... <clears throat> short-sighted. It's, like it's like someone who's saying, I love you, but... No, no, no. Never mind the but is what I would tell them. You love them. Right. Now, separate issue is the devil. Right? W whatever that represents. What they're doing is they're blending the two issues together, and that's what's causing that eight of swords. So our reading's on the flip. Our story begins with Aries, number one, as I call it, to the universe, and it ends with Pisces, number 12. And let's see where we go. Pay attention to everything. For most of you, about nine of these will resonate Write down whatever resonates. Add it all up at the end for yourself. I'll have the universe added up at the end anyway. Right here is Aries. Let's go. Let's start this story. Queen of Cups. What did I just say? 
I love I said it I didn't know that was there I said I love you but I, and I said I stepped in with advice for them and I said stop with the but those are separate issues you love the soulmate right and fine put that in a little box and now move over here and deal with the devil that's that's how they get out of that eight swords but they're not doing that they're too short-sighted for that uh, Queen of Cups Aries pay attention to your November monthly reading uh, somebody here the, the love is starting to flow a little too much might cause some problems if they're in a relationship with somebody they're not happy with the love is the Queen of Cups gives the full cup she holds the Ace of Cups gives the cup it's very empathic Queen a lot of empathy here it's you know someone's someone's love is on fire right their love gun is fire and if you will okay so that's where we start we start with a lot of love here we had a knight of cups and the pre-shuffle just on the surface uh taurus tower yeah tower somebody I, I told you this in your november reading and i'll say it again somebody here somebody here needs your energy you two are necessary energies uh, you don't need theirs as much as they need yours okay but things are falling apart for them things aren't going their way or if they're not, they, they won't be soon. And somebody is starting to see that. How they're thinking and feeling about you is it's, it's just a great big giant I fucked up upright. Somebody wants to try again, but they got to get past something first. Okay? It, I think somebody needs to hit rock bottom here, and I think they're well on their way to it. Gemini, King of Pentacles. Uh, your person, oh God, I gave you, I remember your November reading a little bit. I wash them when I'm done, but I remember something telling you about my niece when she tried to run away with her little unicorn backpack standing at the end of the driveway. Where are you going to go, little one, right? You know, I mean, come on. It's like that a little bit. Somebody on your person's side, this king of pentacles represents stability. It represents I have all the person. Sort of what mommy represented to my niece, you know. Mommy got all the money. Mommy got the car. Mommy got the food. Somebody here... Some energy around your person has a lot, too much influence on them, right? Too much. They're giving it too much thought. It's keeping them stuck. All right. But I, I, I feel like that's temporary. We'll see what happens in the weekly reading. I would love to clarify that, but I'm not going to. We don't clarify here. If I clarify one, I'm going to get yelled at by 11 other signs. Cancer, the hot spot of the connection cycle. In the reading, it bookends the Queen of Cups, okay? In the reading, this crosses the tower. So, you know, again, everybody's connected. You're all part of a cycle, right? And you're all connected if you're in the cycle. You're all stuck in the same room together dealing with similar situations. That's why you're all bonding out there on social media, right? All right, Cancer, the hot spot, Seven of Cups. That's, again, I've got cups. It is, I have to read it with the Queen of Cups energy. It, it is... It's a whole lot of round and round. It's a bit like what I told you in the pre-shuffle, okay? Or in the uh, overall energy card here with, with the Five of Swords. Uh, they love the fuck out of you, but they keep stumbling on a butt, B-U-T. And, and it's, it's, uh, it's creating a lot of confusion within them, all right? It's making what they have on their side look bad, but it's also causing them to stand still. Okay, it's like I told you in your November reading. Yours, I remember a little bit too. In the pre-shuffle, I remember it was, can I or can't I, or or should I or shouldn't I, kind of blending together. It's right there. There it is. Comes out right there. What they're thinking and feeling. So that November reading is solid. <laughs> it really is. Leo. Oh man, I don't remember Leo's November reading. I washed that motherfucker with Heineken, and several oranges. Okay, I lit oranges on fire just to wash that reading. Uh, Leo, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, yeah, five of cups. Somebody's just, somebody, it's masochism. It is. Somebody just keeps leaving themselves out. These two motherfuckers right here could go in that church. It's nice they got a buffet in there. And everybody naked inside for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's Steve's love tarot. I don't know. But they just keep leaving themselves out in the cold here. What, what, it's, it's masochism. Ma one of the definitions in psychology of masochism is someone whose whole identity is drawn from codependency. Right? They, they need it. 
That they need it's someone who doesn't feel like they could be on their own. It's someone who feels like they like these people here they think they're independent, but they're not. They would love to go in and, and eat that buffet. They can. That's the thing. It's just, it's masochism. It's just somebody just seems to hit me again, sir. You know, I mean, but what they're thinking and feeling about you is, is they missed out on something. Okay, there's a whole, not even a fear of missing out. It's I missed out. They know they missed it. These people know they're missing out on what's inside there. There's naked people at a buffet for fuck's sake. Who wants to miss that? Right here, Virgo. I'm going to need the light oranges on fire again. Okay, we'll see what happens in the weekly reading. There's a lot coming up between now and 11-11, believe me. Uh, okay, Virgo, Knight of Wands. Uh, it's not your... It's not your run... I don't... Somebody wants to ask you out. Somebody wants to bang. I keep getting this for you. You just have this attractive energy around you. Somebody wants to somebody wants to approach. They're nervous about it. It's a brave, impulsive action. I think they might just do it impulsively. You might go into work tomorrow or something, just or whatever, or see see a clerk you see every day at a store or something, and they might just blurt out, Hey, you wanna go grab a coffee sometime or something. If someone at work asks you if you wanna go grab a coffee sometime, right? And, and of course they're someone you you know, could bang, whether they're same sex or opposite sex, there's someone you'd be attracted to in that manner. Uh, trust me, they don't just want a cup of coffee. It's not just, don't go deluding yourself and thinking, oh, they just want to be friends and, and have coffee and get to know. No, they won't bang you. Okay, I'm just going to tell you straight up. Uh, Libra, you could take my word for that. That energy is there. Ah, uh, Libra, 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 Libra. Libra, you had the November reading where you two should already be together. Their energy is blended with you. I mean, it is, it's just mixed in. You couldn't get it out. Like mixing salt into a recipe. Once it's in, it's in. You don't get to take the salt out. Ah, uh, and there it is. It's right there. It's the Divine Masculine. I didn't know that was there. I took a chance. It could have been some stupid card like a Two of Pentacles or something. But it's not. It's the Emperor. Yeah, they're on top of you. I mean, literally, the emperor is on top of you. If this is not someone you want to bang, if that's not your type, it's too bad because they're already on top of you. Their energy is with you. Uh, I just, we're waiting on this son of a bitch to get up off the damn throne. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's got a little poop bucket down there and he's constipated. I, we got a constipated emperor who won't get off the throne. All right, can I put it that way? Their energy is already with you. What they're thinking and feeling about you is, is uh, I hope I can get off this throne and go bang. I mean, I don't know. The, the energy's already there. Hot Scorpio. Hot Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles. Whenever I pause, it's, it's not because I don't know what the energy is, right? It, it's not because I'm trying to think of something. It's because I, I either have to blow my nose like I do now... Or, 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 I just, I'm trying to find a way to phrase this. You are someone's Ten of Pentacles. But I, your feedback and off of this energy, your person's on the toilet too. Constipated emperors all over the place. What, what are you eating? You need more, these emperors need more fiber. I'm telling you. Um, yeah. You're somebody's Ten of Pentacles. That's what they're thinking and feeling about you right now. Everything this card represents. You represent to that person, believe it or not. All right. Um, Sagittarius, I hope I don't have to give a lecture. Sagittarius always gets this shit. Page of Swords. Somebody's watching you. you got, I had that, as soon as I saw the card, I had this, uh, this song in my head. I always feel like somebody's watching me, right? It's like from the 80s or some shit. <sighs> somebody's watching you. I don't... I, what is this? This is bullshit. It's immature. It's, I, I answered a tweet the other day, someone about the uh, Page of Swords energy and, and the spy, and they're like, what's up with that? And, and it's similar to, it's a similar energy to conspiracy energy, right? It's comfortable. It's easy to digest. People who are caught in conspiracy energy, those conspiracy types, they're, they're caught in a loop of their own making, right? They're trapped in their own energy and it just swirls and feeds itself and feeds itself. You can confront them with truth 
and they won't believe a word of it. It doesn't matter. You could put piles of evidence in front of them and they won't see it, but you could put the craziest thing to them and they'll believe that because that's what that energy does. It's devil energy, right? They're just lost. You can't help them. They have to help themselves. There's no way. There's nothing I could do to like break the spell. If I could, I'd find all of them and get them out of it. You can't short it out. There's nothing you can do. This is that energy here. Somebody here has it in their head that you're the thing that they need. You, you complete a puzzle. And while you are a soulmate with this person, they're way, but way vibrationally speaking, below your level. Uh, I just, just be careful. You know, I, I don't know. I don't see them approaching. I just see how, how they're thinking and feeling about you is you're great and they're not, and they'd like to be great. So being with you would make them great. Okay, and it's, and it swirls around just like conspiracy energy. They believe it and believe it, believe it. It's, it's almost like an obsessed fan type energy. Okay, it's the same kind of thing. It's a swirl, someone caught in a loop of their own energy. Okay, I mean, I'm sorry, but it's the same. it comes up all the time. I gotta be honest, I can't lie to you. Uh, Capricorn, better than popcorn. It really is. You had one of the best readings. You did. Your, your November reading was spectacular, and I get no Capricorns that come here. Nobody saw that fucking reading compared to other. I mean, it was for it definitely for you if you saw it. Uh, the magician, yeah. Some something's about to happen. It's my card of action. Some shit's about to happen. So you know, I, I get a puff of smoke energy here. Poof! All of a sudden, there's this person. Person maybe you thought you'd never hear from, or they'd never open up to you. There they are. What they're thinking and feeling about you is it's time to do the trick. The crowd's here. The, the curtain goes up. Magician's on. Go. Time to do the trick. That's what I get. Uh, they feel like they can do it. There's confidence here. There is a karmic debt that's being called in that they are, you know, sort of being driven to it. You know, but I got nothing bad to say there. I'm sorry. Um, in fact, your, this energy, I will tell you, this is why I don't do timestamps, because if I did, I'd have to say, well, Capricorn, you need to watch Taurus. And then you get a bunch of people, well, Taurus isn't in my chart, so I'm not going to watch that. Not understanding that this is a cycle, and, and it, your sign is just a word. That's it. It's just a word. I could say, Capricorn, you need to watch number two. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this tower definitely relates to this magician. It's a real puff of smoke energy. Aquarius, also with a great November reading. Uh, Six of Swords, yeah, lots of, somebody here uh, who's attached to you knows you've moved on, okay? Uh, that's it. They're becoming okay with it. That's what I have to tell you. As far as your energy, which is also attached to this, you've moved on and you're okay with it. Why? Because good things are about to start happening. These people are like refugees here in the boat. They're getting taken away from terrible dictator over here. Terrible energy, right? They know that they're going to the land of freedom and good things are going to happen or at least have the potential to happen. Always keep that in mind. You know, it's better, it's better to be single with the hope of finding somebody than stuck in something or in a loop, if you will, with no hope at all because you're stuck. And that's the very energy that's here. These people know something good's going to happen. If it's not already started, it will for you. Pisces. Our story began with a lovely Queen of Cups. It ends here with Pisces. My two fish. All right. High Priestess. See? She very intuitive. Right? She very empathic. She, she feels everything. That's what this energy is. This right here ties with this. It always does because the end of the reading should make sense to the beginning of the reading if you truly are all connected. And this is a very empathic queen. I made a point to tell you that, and I don't always say that about the Queen of Cups, do I? If you've been here a while. I don't always mention it. I mentioned it today. Why? I don't know. We find out. Just like in life. Sometimes you don't know why something happened until much later. And now we know. That's because somebody here is just, just knows. There's an inner knowing that they need to talk to you, that they need to come towards you. Also on your side, your energy is, and this applies to all of you, you all can feel in, throughout the month of November in the energy starting right now, in the energy that we're swimming in, all right? You all can feel that something's about to happen. 
right? It, it, you can see it here. We, our number two card after this Queen of Cups, which is tied to the High Priestess, is this. Also, this here, Pisces is always tied to Leo. You don't have to know a Leo. It's just these two, number five and number 12, go together in this cycle. They're just welded together. Somebody In the Pisces case here, somebody is coming in from out of the cold. Somebody coming into that naked buffet, for sure. I mean, it's really, really strong there. It could be a new soulmate approaching, or it could be the runner. But, but two fish about to get banged, for sure. No doubt about it. You'll be able to feel it coming. You'll know when you meet somebody, or you'll know when somebody's approaching. You know, you'll be like your own Santa Claus. See them when they're sleeping, knows when they're awake, <laughs> knows when they've been bad or good, right? Um, I will tell you about the energy right now just a little bit as I shuffle for the three cards to have the universe add this up. We're going to use the witches here to do that. It's perfect time of year for it, right, with Halloween just around the corner. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's shuffle the deck. Um, in the energy right now, uh, blended in all of this, just telling all of you this in case it happens to you so you don't freak out or wonder what's going on, there's a whole lot of what I call deja vu energy, right? It is. You're going to feel, oh, between now and 11-11, there's going to be a day or a string of days, could be today, I don't know, where, uh, where you feel like you've been here before, like this has happened before. Just let that energy flow. It has. It, may, it most likely happened in a past life, okay? But it could be something from the past repeating. Most likely something around the 2008 to 2012, early 2013 range. But that's not a given. I, I'm just saying most likely, okay? But regardless, just let that energy flow. It's there to show you something. It's part of that high priestess thing that's kind of there, that inner knowing, all right? You have it too. Keep that in mind. Um, the energy right now is, is magic. It's pure magic, and, and the month of November will prove to be magic. If you don't believe in magic, give it a chance. Uh, give November a chance. It's, 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 it is. October is life-changing, and it bleeds into November. The life change in October is, is spiritual to a point, but it's more the energy is much more powerful. It's the 1010 portal, game-changing things, and, and all the other energies we pulled on, right? Pluto bringing up stuff from the depths for you to look at. November is, is spiritual. It really is some spiritual shit. And if you allow that to flow, and you don't get in eight swords and get in its way, it's pure magic. I promise you. It really is. It's going to be something very special. All right, here we go. Let's have the universe add up all these 12 cards. Three cards and a bottom card, universe. I've been shuffling the witches a while. They do not like early morning reads. They don't. I think these witches sleep in, I'll tell you. All right. Three cards and a bottom card. Here we go. Look at that. The High Priestess. We were just talking about you. Hello. Hi. All right. There we go. Center card, Page of Wands. That's the base energy. It's crossed by the Ten of Wands. What's your person thinking and feeling about you right now? They'd love nothing more than to come towards you. This backs up the pre, the, not the pre-shuffle, the overall energy of that Five of Swords, right? With where I love them, but, and they're not separating things properly. These, these, all of these runners are crying for something new crying for it. Their intuition is screaming at them. Stuff stuff that they push back, they can't hold back anymore. This is my high priestess puking in the corner at the party. It's all coming up and they need you to hold their hair because it's a real burden. Ten wands crossing the page of wands. They all want this, but they overthinking it too much as we saw from the uh, pre-shuffle itself. What's read with the high priestess? Five of wands. Everything I just told you just got validated. Okay? They're, they're trying to push it down, but it's coming up, right? It's coming up. You know, if you had, you go and you eat too much pepperoni pizza, right? Your pepperoni pizza and clams and then go to a party and start drinking Jack Daniels. You could try and keep it down all you want, but you're going to ruin somebody's carpet. Okay? It's just the end. It, it, it's just how it is. I've been to enough parties to know that. And that's kind of what's going on here on an emotional side. For these runners, they so they're so there's just a so much curiosity. I always use that word for you, but there is 
you're so different from what they're used to and it's these these connections came into knowing for a reason you know yeah and the dfs have taken that reason and run with it you guys have grown a lot every time i pull on you it's an empress this or a queen of pentacles that you know with, with them it's always pages and high priestesses trying to keep things down you're not going to keep pepperoni pizza and clams down after half a bottle of jack daniels you're not going to do it and that's what they're trying to do and and what they're thinking and feeling about you right now that you're heavy on their mind with a neptune influence like i talked about in the jupiter retrograding back into pisces reading the other day with a neptune influence that's causing the soul causing people to obsess about soulmates about real it's it's a real dreamy energy right so it's it's your they're really in fantasy land about you right now so you're going to pick up on all that we know that with two high priestesses here you're going and especially the high priestess coming out in position 12 here in this reading you're going to pick up on all that that's part of that inner knowing and a lot of it is that dreaminess is over here reflected in Aries position, the number one position, with all those emotions coming to the surface and flowing perfectly. That's your reading. Uh, tomorrow we pull the week, uh, the week ahead, which, which really does take us into November. It's, uh, it would be, I guess, the 30th of October through the 5th of November. So we're really, really in it. We're going to get some of that Mars retrograde in tomorrow's reading and all of that. Uh, it's going to be pretty powerful. We'll ask what actions they're likely to take, right? We'll see. We'll see where it goes. It should be a very interesting read. We do clarify in that reading, so it's a much bigger reading. That said, that's your reading here on Friday. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.